talking about madmen and talking about people that don't know what the fuck they're doing it's a really interesting um article here that pops up on the bbc first of all i think it was trending for the best part of a day on twitter kids decided to descend on halsden for a sh- epic epic street party that saw like, over 500 people supposedly according to police reports it's like wow i'm surprised we haven't seen more of these in the uk especially again like i've said i just can't imagine how boring it must be for somebody under the age of 21 to be indoors for a prolonged period of time during the lockdown it must be one of the worst times ever especially at home with your parents it's like oh usually got a break you can go to school they go to work there's some you know you kind of pass each other by here and there but to just be at home even if you're on your own but with family members must be so horrible especially if you've got stricter family members right parents that don't actually let you go out or it may be even the opposite if your family members if your parents do let you go out and you just can't go out because no one nothing no one else is allowed outside that's even worse um but yeah i'm shocked this hasn't happened sooner to be honest i'm really am but there's been some reports of some parties here and there but a proper like rave rave or like a house party you don't really hear many of them happening um during the lockdown people have been pretty well behaved or i guess probably scared of any kind of consequences that might come their way as a result of putting on the party that might be more apropos in it but this is an article from bbc news that says here has a street party of 500 people broken up by police is the image of the kids at the flat i guess getting escorted at the venue this is always the worst part of a house party isn't it? when you get chucked down you're on the street trying to look for another motive it's like oh man you just got settled you find your groove you may be caught caught a quick wine you've got a nice drink you've got a little buzz going you know what i mean you're ready to go and then boom they lock it off it continues a street party involving 500 revelers i love the word revelers revelers it's like bonk isn't it? <laughs> what um breaking down lockdown rules in northwest london has broken up police by an early hours i wonder how long they got to party before the police came if they if they had a good you know from like 9 p.m onwards and they came like let's say that's like 4 a.m in the morning that's a pretty good run but if it just got started i feel i feel for them man it says here videos on social media show hundreds of people gathering in Halston <laughs> despite the covid 19 social distancing rules the met police said five people had been arrested at the event involving 500 people at the church road estate which began on tuesday night residents said the party continued into the early hours okay so they had a good time see that's the thing maybe they just took the piss and they could have just locked it off before the police come but at that, at that age though man who's locking off raves you know what i mean like you got nowhere else to go you know usually when you leave a party like i'll go go somewhere i'll go, go to church you got nowhere to go on a tuesday evening during lockdown not doing none uh resident said the party tuned into early hours um clive mcbride who lives nearby who's a snitch and it said the last police van left his area about 4 a.m clive mcbride snitching and fucking keeping score all the time and shit what a dweeb he said yeah people are People are dying of... Is this what you said, Clive McBride? People are dying of COVID-19. Millions are in lockdown. The NHF is risking their lives every day. What do house and youth do? Throw a block party after block party. Also, it's been happening on the regs then, yeah? I love how he says house and youth. He did. We're very politically correct in this country, isn't it? He didn't say those black kids, those coloured kids. He said house and youth, which, you know, give him ratings on that one. Um, but imagine if you live in that area and they're throwing house party after house party. That must be a mad one, isn't it? McBride said many people were dancing, drinking in plugs with Zimmy to one another. That's what a party is, mate. McBride, you might want to go to one, pal. He says at one point fireworks were set up at the party. <laughs> these kids tore it up, man, didn't it? So the Met said 11 of these officers were assaulted and server received minor injuries when a small minority of party goers refused to leave. That's the worst part of a house party, right? If you're throwing one and you have to get people out. And pe- and there's a there's always a segment of the of the revelers that just don't want to go home, and that's the most awkward. I remember that being the most awkward thing when they came to house parties, especially when you know the local top boys or the local gangsters rolled in, and then you knew you knew you're going to be have to you you're the one that was designated to like get everybody out. You had to be like, hey, you man, uh, you know, it's long in it, sorry man, you know, you had to you had to, you had to kind of like come with your cap in hand like hey you man you know is isn't it you know it isn't it you gotta lock yourself in it but uh, you know mumsy in it mumsy mumsy <laughs> you gotta like just <laughs> you gotta throw your mum at the bus or something oh lols um 
five arrests were made, three assaults, so one a fr one for a fray and one for apprehended. Sorry, continue here. What one for attempted grievous bodily harm? What's attempted? You see, if you do it or you don't, isn't it? You can't attempt to grievously bodily harm somebody. He's in anyway, dangerous driving or remaining in custody. The police took to Twitter to complain about the rule breaking. One Twitter user said, Brent has most coronavirus coronavirus cases in the London. Here's Holden having a huge blog party. User Talila and said, if you don't care about yourself, good for you. But at least think about others. Think about your parents. That's a weird sort of like rational. Don't people understand what... People are just like, oh, people aren't honest, isn't it? If I was these kids' ages, right, I would have probably went to his house party. I probably would have put on house party on myself if I could. My parents would never allowed it, right? They would have probably hung me out to dry. But it's not like a such that much of a shocking thing. If you're under the age of eighteen or twenty one, you're legitimately driving yourself up the wall. I know everyone else is, but just think about what it must be like to be like an eighteen year old at home now. Legitimately. And you can't go see your friends, right? It's not like you're at home and your parents just don't want to let you go out. You can't go and see your friends. You have their parents' friends won't let you go see them. So you will have to coordinate this. I wonder what the lie was they all told. That's the thing I want to know. Like what made, how are they all allowed to go out at the same time? Because there's a lot of black kids out there, a lot. And if you know anything about black kids, you know, you know the level of parenting, um, uh, guidance and precautions varies a lot. It, it goes from the kid that their parents allow them to do anything to want someone to do nothing. So I wonder what, I wonder how they got out of their house. That's the thing that I'm curious about. How did they actually get out? How did they manage to uh, all gallivant together? The continuity to says, Chief Superintendent Roy Smith said, to the very small minority of those who chose to break the law last mm -hmm. night and who were not from the local area, I'm clear. You do not reflect the communities of Brent and will take appropriate action. Like what? What are you going to do, brother? Uh, local residents should be reassured we'll be increasing our patrols in the area following the incident. And then, of course, we've got video footage of the actual incident itself, courtesy, I guess, from, is it, who's that? Nines is um, Instagram. Come on, I city. Yeah. I city. Big up Irish. Come on, block looking litty, yeah? Look like Arrow Road and I was a youth man to blood top. Magic. It's a fun day, isn't it? It's a fun day. Though, but it does look like fun. It's like fun. Look at that. It's like it's like it's like it's like a it's like a helicopter. It's I'm climbing over the fence like it's wireless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. That looks like fun. I'm not going to lie. That actually looks like fun. I think the police are being a bit over... Uh, um, no, I'm joking. Um, yeah. Bloody hell. Imagine if you're a resident and it's been happening every week. Bloody hell. Imagine having to describe this over the phone as well and not try to sound racist. Like, um... Can you describe the reds? What they look like? Um... <laughs> uh, they're all wearing hoodies <laughs> you know I mean you have to use some like some g general terms and you don't want to get cancelled online <laughs> making a phone call to a police officer oh Jesus Christ 